All right, hey y'all. I wanna take you through the process of ordering through the Vegas Food Co-op. Because if you're new to it, it may seem like something completely foreign. You're not sure what you're gonna be getting out of it. Might feel a little bit uncomfortable. So I wanna demystify that whole process for you. All right, what's up y'all? So we're gonna take you how to order through the Vegas Food Co-op's website. And uh, first thing I wanna mention here is how a lot of us will strategize to buy the things that we consume. And so um, for most of our pantry items, a lot of us will purchase those things on Amazon through Amazon Prime and or we'll use Thrive Market. Thrive Market, if you're not familiar with it, it's like a Amazon for a lot of holistic health items. And the prices are pretty comparable. Sometimes if you have the time to price compare, like you'll see one has a better deal than the other. Usually I don't really care too much to, to do that kind of stuff, but every now and then I will. So anyway. Um, and then for local produce, I personally like to go to Whole Foods for convenience and because of the level of quality that I get there. But we've mentioned before many times in our shopping tour and other places, the first focus is just getting real food um, or just focusing on real food. And so shop for your produce wherever it makes sense for you. Strategize your organic and conventional purchases using some of the info that we talked about in our shopping tour. So whatever place works for you is great. Um, but then we like to get our meat through the Vegas Food Co-op because uh, the quality is top-notch and the price per pound is what you'd be paying for, um, usually for conventional uh, beef and pork. All right, so Amazon and Thrive for pantry items, um, your local grocery store for fresh produce, and then ideally you're getting meat through the Vegas Food Co-op. So when you order through the Vegas Food Co-op, the meat comes to you in vacuum packaged, indiv individually wrapped uh uh, packages that usually serve about two people. You can throw that in your freezer and then just take some of it out and let it thaw and, and consume it as you need to. It's really, really awesome. So let's take you through um, going by their website and then also um, ordering through their website. So we go to vegasfoodcoop.com and the first thing that you're going to see here is a welcome page and they tell you when their next drop date is. Usually they're going to take orders up to a week before their drop date. And the closer you are to the drop date, the more that a lot of those items that they have for sale will be sold out. And the further you are away from the drop date, the more that all those things are going to be available. Um, so, and then sometimes I'll have some specials here. And then you'll notice that on this calendar, they have the drop date with the times and the locations. So you have two different locations that you can pick up your meat from for your convenience. Um, the one that I like to go to is here at Craig and Park. It's a little bit more north. And they also have one down on Dean Martin. And basically what happens is you order and then on this drop date, you go and pick up your meat at this drop location. All right, and again, it's professionally packaged, vacuum sealed, individually wrapped, frozen. You can just throw it in your freezer, it's awesome, all right? So um, you can also learn a little bit about the meat and the quality of the meat. They source their meats through Christensen Farms and Christensen Farms has their certain specific prices. They also charge for shipping. And what the Vegas Food Co-op has done is they drive up to Utah and they grab all this meat for us and they bring it back down no shipping cost and they get a big discount so it's just a really uh it's a win-win for all of us um, so their beef is grass-fed and they have a little bit of barley fed uh, which means that they supplement the grass fed with barley fed and they have a very good reason for doing that but it's very high quality stuff um, and then down at the bottom you'll see they have some information about their berkshire pork Berkshire pork is some of the best quality pork you can find anywhere on the planet like it's awesome stuff um, all pasture raised pork um, free to roam, free to do what pigs do and eat some of the things that pigs eat out in the wild. But then also they supplement it with some high quality non-GMO feed. Um, their pigs are not stressed out for any reason. They don't go through any of the situations that conventional p uh, pigs and, and cattle go through. So and they have a lot of information here about their uh, pork. So um, again, family run operation, very high quality stuff. And then if we go over here to buy meat, then we can scroll down and we have a lot of different a la carte options that you can purchase. Um, I typically don't do the a la carte stuff. Um, I like to go for the packages. So let's go through the packages if we can find some here. All right, so the first package that we're gonna see here is a 30 pound um, pork CSA share. Now pork CSA share is basically you're paying for 30 pounds of pork and it's predetermined. They tell you what the cuts are right here. Um, and so 30 pounds, if you divide that into 165, that is about 550 a pound for some of the best quality pork you're ever going to find anywhere. And uh, again, you get a combination of ground pork and ribs and bacon and some pork chops, which are amazing, by the way. Um, when you do pork, you can choose between cured and uncured. And the difference between cured and uncured is that cured is bacon and ham. 
uncured is going to be pork belly and then uh, shoulder roast and things like that. And I would say try both of them. Maybe do one, uh, one order and then the other the other order. All right. So next thing we have is going to be a... You have whole pigs and half pigs, but I'd say if you're doing your first order, you could do a family package. And if we look at the family package, you have a $150 down uh, deposit until they actually weigh the meats. And they go through and they tell you exactly what's in that family package, about estimated, because every animal is going to be slightly different. And they tell you it's going to be an average of about, um, you know, they give you the, the poundage, and then they tell you the cost is going to be, you know, anywhere between $925 and $1,150 for an average of $1,030. And then if you um, divide that by the number of pounds that you get, you're looking at anywhere from $450 a pound up to maybe $550 a pound. So very, very good price for the best quality beef and pork you're going to find anywhere. All right, so that's a good starting place, but it, maybe it's a little bit of an expensive price point. So another great option would be the 30-pound combo grass-fed beef and pork CSA, which means you're paying for 30 pounds of uh, beef and pork. You get 15 pounds of beef and 15 pounds of pork. Um, so I think this is a really good starting place for most people because you get to experience the beef and the pork. And again, you have uncured and cured option depending on what they have available. And, um, and that only applies to the pork. So again, cured means bacon and ham. Uncured means pork belly and um, pork shoulders. And the cured, by the way, they use uh, nothing but really good quality ingredients. I think this is the best place to start. If you divide 195 by 30, you're looking at 650 a pound for the best quality grass-fed beef and pork you're going to find anywhere. All right. And then when you go to checkout, um, you know, you just go through your checkout process. You pay. Sometimes you're paying a deposit and they'll bill you for the rest of it before the pickup. Um, or if you're just doing a CSA, it's a flat fee for it. And then you just go pick it up, right? And then you choose your pickup location. And, um, and then you pick up at the designated time, at the designated location. And you'll go home happy because you got a lot of great beef and meat. And, um, and let, let us know what your experience is like. And make sure that you tell them that the SHT sent you. All right? I think that's it. All right, hey guys, we are here. It's me, Sonia, and I got Paul right here. Um, we are um, on our way to the Vegas co-op, Vegas food co-op, yeah, pickup site. Yeah. Um, Paul put an order in, and we are picking up the meats. We want to show you guys the whole process, and then we want to show you the meat and how it comes packaged. So, ready? Let's do it. All right, let's do this. All right, so we are heading over to pick up our stuff and it's crazy because if you can get some footage of this it looks like a little uh, little deal going on in the parking lot right here all these people coming to get real food real food it's like real food's being smuggled into a parking lot and we're all here to pick up our smuggled real food <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like right no really yeah. it does all right so i'm picking up a 30 pound csa pork and beef share, which means I'm getting 15 pounds of each. So we'll see how this process goes. Uh -huh, Kelly. <laughs> she has a 30 pound uh, combo share and also some yeah. chorizo. That's it, 30 yeah. pounds? Hey, yeah. Paul. <laughs> yeah. Do you want that? Yeah. Awesome. Enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Little SHT siding. <laughs> Joyce picking up her meat too. <laughs> she is cute. Oh my gosh, she's so soft. What are y'all doing? Hey. I'll just Hello. Good. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. cool. Get, All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to say. Enjoy thank that, you guys. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Right. Thank you. All right, awesome. Thank you. Love it. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy that. Good thank to you. Good to see y'all. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> that was a pretty good showing for like a last minute little push, huh? It was really good. Okay, cool. We jumped in the numbers like they were, and they were so good at get just sticking with it. Like as the numbers jumped, thank you so much. Yeah, thank no, you, thank you. no, we enjoyed oh, it. That's awesome. I'm so happy for these people that just tried it because they've never done it, and now they're gonna go home and see open it and see like, wow, this is so great. Yeah, we were just talking about how you can't really even eat out anymore because it's such a disappointment. Yeah. You know, you can it's cook better. True. Home. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that's and we've true. Had a few people telling us how it's changed their life. Eating good meat has literally changed their life, mm -hmm. and so you know, it's like there's so much to be said. Aww. Food is medicine, and so much of the world. It is, and you're yeah. doing such a good thing with this. Yeah. Well, we're just happy to be a part of it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just happy to be a part. Yeah. Of it. That's exactly how I feel about yeah. the whole thing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 
All right, good you to see y'all. Thank right, you. Take Thank it you. easy. All right, so we've got our Vegas Food Co-op delivery. If I'm not mistaken, I got like the 15-pound, 15-pound CSA with a combination of pork and beef, so 15-15. Um, and so I purposely put it in the freezer here so that we could open it together and see what it looks like to pull out the different meat options, all right? Hopefully it's not a disaster in here. This is Colby's office. There it is. Boom. What's up? This is the 30 pound CSA, 15 pounds of pork, 15 pounds of beef. Beef and the pork come bagged separately. Here's the beef. It looks like the beef. Let's so see what's in here. I just love how they even put it in the bag and tie a little knot like that. Alright, so in here we've got beef cube steak. Beef bavette steak. Looks like kind of like flank steak. Oh yes, my favorite. I love roasts. So I've got a chuck roast, a beef rib steak. I would say, oh, that's like ribeyes. Two ribeyes. Top sirloin, and then we got four packages of ground beef. 100% grass fed, grass finished. Or however they do, I think they use a little bit of barley to supplement the grass feed. Okay, so that is beef. And let's see what we got in the pork. Good. Oh, is that meat? Yeah. Uh, delivery from the co-op. All right, so I ordered with the pork the um, the uncured, so that means that it was not seasoned. We got pork belly, which is basically like bacon, but it's one big chunk. And the way to do that is you put it in the oven and bake it until it becomes crispy. Got a pork tenderloin. Got some more pork belly. So the pork belly, it, it comes if it's uncured, you get pork belly versus beef, right? Pork chops, the pork chops from this place are unbelievably amazing. Have you had those yet? No. Oh my god. Pork chops, I can die for. All right. Then we've got several packages of ground pork, which is amazing. Salt and pepper and a skillet, like, that's all you need. We've got a pork leg roast. Some more pork chops. And then a pork shoulder roast. That. Individually wrapped, vacuum sealed. Take one out, set it on the counter, be ready, thawed out the next day or, or by morning or something like that. Or maybe you set it out in the morning when you go to work and then you come home and it's thawed out, right? Something like that. And um, really good quality stuff. Way, this is the port Should be about 15 pounds. You'll see. 14.8. Nice. Nice. That is 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the beef. Fourteen point eight. There we go. Nice. Cool. That's all we got. 